Okay, let's continue with question 10. So we have here three types of notes, $2, $5, and $10 notes in this ratio. So I'm just going to write $2, $5, and $10 notes. 9 is to 4 is to 8. The total value of all the $2 notes was $72. Now, some of you will probably be wondering, uh, if I put a $72 here, or most of you will be doing that. Now, in fact, we are interested in how many pieces. So, instead of writing $72 under the $2, we will need to find out, out of this $72, which all the $2 notes are, how many pieces are there? Okay, which we will do it by $72 divide by $2. Altogether, there are 36 pieces. So, over here, 36, you have to find out what are the rest of the numbers. So, 9 units is actually 36 pieces of $2 notes. We are interested in 1 unit, which is 36 divided by 9, which is 4. So, $5 notes, they are altogether 4 units. So, what do we need to do? 4 times 4 gives you a total of 16 dollars. 16 pieces. Okay, 8 units will be 8 times 4 which is equals to 32 pieces. So over here, 32. Alright, how many pieces of notes did Gerald have all together? We will have 36 plus a 16 plus a 32 pieces. So altogether that gives us a total of 84 as the answer. Alright, 84. Let's go down to question 11. This guy earns 2005 in January and out of this 2005, 4 fifth was given to the wife. So for those who are interested in drawing instead, we're going to have four, 5 units. And out of this 5 units, 4 units is going to be given to the wife. And we know that this guy earns a total of 2005. Okay? So, 5 units will be uh, 2005, the total units with the total salary. That's fine for 1 unit first. 2005 divided by 5 gives us a total of $500. Okay, now let's see how much was given to the wife, 4 units, which is 500 times 4. $2,000 was given to the wife. Now, the next sentence says the wife spent three quarter of the money being received. So, the wife received a four unit. Okay, the wife received the four units and this four units is 2,000 which we found out earlier. Out of this 2,000, uh, the wife spent three quarter. So, three quarter, we're going to shade is what was being spent. Okay, and they said that the rest was divided equally to the two daughters. Now, what is the rest? The rest would be this one unit. And this one unit somehow is being cut into two daughters. Daughter one, daughter two. So, the question is asking how much is one daughter receiving? We have four units that the wife received, which was 2,000. Let's find out for one unit first. The one big unit is 2,000 divided by 4, which gives us 500. And this 500 is being shared with the two daughters. So we are going to divide them by 2, which gives us the answer 250. Okay? Alright, let's look at question 12. Question 12, you have got red pen, which is 2 fifth. You have got green. Now green is a little challenging because they said 5 9 of the remaining. This is the remaining after you take out your red pen. Okay, so it is going to be 5 9 of the remaining, which is what is left after the red pen, 3 fifth. You would get the answer, 1 third. And blue. Okay, will be what is rest. So one whole minus the red minus the green gives us a total of 415. Okay, now this 
15 over here is number of blue. You notice that they are all in different denominator. Very hard to compare. What we could do is to change them to the common denominator so that they are all referring to the same whole. This is for green. Let's change this to the common denominator also. This will be 6, which is for red. Okay, they said that there are 30 more red than blue. 30 more red than blue. Red and blue is here. So the difference is actually 6 minus 4 gives you the two extra units, which is 30 pens, 30 more, 30 more red pens. So one unit will be divided by 2, you get 15. We are interested in green pen. Green, there are a total of 5 units. It will be 5 times a 15, which gives us the answer 75. Okay, last question for this EPP. Of course, you are encouraged to try others if you would like. Red is one quarter based on this story. Two fifth for yellow. So we have two fifth yellow and remaining will be pink, which we don't know how much is that. It will be one whole minus one quarter minus a two fifth. Starts off with one whole all the time, huh? It goes to 720. Now the same thing you will find is that they are all not in the same denominator. Very hard to compare. We can always change it to the same denominator. Okay which is like that. So this is for red, this is for yellow, this is for pink, all together 20 units. So they said pink has 287 roses. Uh, pink will be 7 units, and this 7 unit is equal to 287. 1 unit will be 287 divided by 7, gives you 41. Okay, very nice number. If you divide and you got the remainder, very likely you are in the wrong track. And total units, which is what we want to find, how many roses altogether, 41 times 20 gives you 820 as the answer. So your final answer, 820. We'll see you in the exams tomorrow. Good luck and all the best. Please remember to rest well. And for your attendance code, let's take a look. Pause the video if you need to copy down. I skip one. Huh? Register 21 to 30. And as well as the last 31 to 37. 